Game hey guys, the name's nothing brief, but call me nothing. And today, we're going to be starting off this episode with something a little bit different. In the past, I had mentioned tackling the Dyson Cube minigame in Judgment off screen and showing you guys the highlights of it, but I'll be giving you guys a small overview of this M rated VR version of Monopoly 2 here and there. So, if you're not interested in this section of side content, then go ahead and skip to this timestamp on the screen now. The video should be in chapters 2, so you can use that or the stamps in the description to jump ahead to. What? What in the world? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and die. <laughs> huh. Oh, right, I've gotta have this. Oh my god. <laughs> He is dead! <laughs> Disintegrated. Completely burnt to dust. Wow. <laughs> uh, plot twist, this actually isn't VR, and this is just augmented reality, so Gyaimi did in fact kill someone with an energy wave. <laughs> oh snap, I shoot out beams! Oh, oh no, they have guns. Okay, that's why I can shoot out beams. Get up, Yagami! No! Come on! I might need to go into uh, heat mode if I can. Oh, I can't. And there we go. To briefly recap the general rules of Dyson Cube, the goal is to finish the course with as many prizes and moves as possible to earn the most amount of money and bonus awards, which range from simple extracts to key items for other parts of the game. Oh god, there's a tiger. You can buy upgrades to start off with more dice to help with this, land on plus two dice spots, or land on battle spots, which will give you back the same amount of dice as the amount of stars that the particular battle spot has. Oh my god. Ah! Toranyan. Toranyan. Oh! A good strategy that you can use to cruise through this minigame is to build up your X gauge on the weaker battles, and then X moves through the tougher ones, like this one with a tiger, to gain the most amount of moves possible safely. Because if you die. Wait. But we both died. What happened? You get sent back to the start of the course. I gotta start from the beginning. Okay. Oh god, that's it. But I have so much uh, dice that I shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, you do not want that to happen. Especially if you're trying to get the most money possible. But trust me, you'll need as many moves as you can to land on certain loot spots with the little safe icon. Since the kind of items that they can contain are kind of really important. Hey, here it is. Okay, so inside of the challenge course of the medium version or length, uh, there is a skill code here in this spot. So what is that from the entrance? Eight spaces away. I just need to get out of here and see what that skill is. God, why did they have to put these inside of a mini game like this? So starting on the medium course, going up to the long course that you can play on Dyson Cube, you'll be able to start encountering these two special entities on the board. Kuronyan and Koronyan. The former being a bad event that will take all of the items that you've collected so far on the board and will just teleport to a random spot and you have to go encounter him again and win that battle in order to get your items back and then some. Okay. So that happens, uh, he's all the way over there. So, it can be good if you're able to get everything back, but it's also a big risk as well. Meanwhile, with Koronyan, he is pretty much like a... how do I say? Kind of like a... Oh, Koronyan mode? A star power for Yagami. <laughs> Think about Mario Party, 
with this minigame, where all of the spaces will turn into one of two modes. A destruction battle, or a, I guess, punching bag <laughs> bat uh, battle, where your goal is to hit the enemies as many times as you can, and you'll get X amount of items based on how many times you hit them. There we go, 76 times. Ooh, nice. And the destruction battle is just you gotta destroy everything in the room. Okay, what's the, what was the strategy for this one? Probably drain style? Actually no, it's still tight. And it's from these two modes in particular that you get the most amount of money from doing this mini game. And it's how, by the end of this, that I get millions of yen from just spending I think 40 minutes doing everything of course just one time. When the world just happened. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> and there we go! We had a few hiccups along the way, but it turned out alright. Alright, now let's see everything that we got. <laughs> oh man. And this is how you make money. And we got a Sakura painting out of it, so now that's some progress to um Saikoda. the pawn shop owner. Oh wait, what? The heat action. What is this? Oh, it's only for one person though. Are you kidding me? You know what? We don't get to the top off often, so what is this? Ooh, nice. I learned Resolute Counter from that skill book. Okay, Spirit of Steel. Oh, I got the long course now. Oh, so you just straight up unlock it. Oh. I'll have to continue that then. Uh, what's in here that got unlocked? Oh no. Oh, this is for the challenge course. I'll put half of my money into that. It hurts getting 2 million yen and then like losing half of it right away, but I guess it's okay. Uh, Resolute Counter. Where is it? Should be... here it is. Uh, allows you to form a Resolute Counter when stunned by an enemy. Does not activate if you are sent flying and exclusive to Tiger style. Which is the main problem with this game. Everything's for Tiger style, nothing's for Green style. Skill Pro. 860 skills. Nice. Uh. Alright. Make this more worthwhile. And break through guard. There you go. So, in other words, the button mashing just got a whole lot stronger. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and finish this, to be honest. Okay, so that means that there are two more skill books left in Nice few of them. There we go! Alright, so for this skill book, it is here inside of this little warp spot that you need to go to from here. And this is the long course and the standard version of it. Alright, time to see what this one is. Yeah, this course in particular would be hard to probably get this skill book for because it's a lot of chance to get into here in the first place and then getting out of it as well. So long as I'm not in cream style, I'll be fine. Uh, that man looks like he has a gun. Oh, okay, no, it's worse. Okay, she's taking care of it. 
Alright, EX Running Palm Strike. That sounds like... Wait, I think I talked about this in another episode. Uh, Kim, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, this is a heat action that you can do while you're running at someone, right? Can only be used during X boost? And uses half of a gauge when running near an enemy. It doesn't say that it changes with style. Okay. Just from this style, this honestly looks like um the the open palm strike that Qdu does in uh, Dragon Style. Oh, here it is! Oh, that's it? Huh. Oh god. Oh, no. Ah, that wasn't too bad. Oh my god, I'm finally here. I don't know how long this actually took me, but I've been trying to get onto this spot for what feels like half an hour now. Uh, because this is the very last skill book that you can get inside of Paradise VR. There we go. Yep, running assault. Ah, uh, get me out of here! Please! Oh, you can see how long I've been here just because of the amount of money that I got. <laughs> yep. Over 2 million yen right off the bat. Uh, bat. Uh, X running assault. Alright, what does this one do? Here it is. Deflect the flurry of oncoming blows as you run, then blow your enemies away with the fury of your fists. Press triangle while running near two or more enemies. Oh, here we go. This one is probably the better <laughs> version of this, just because it takes out more enemies. Alright, let's go find some Kahin gang members to beat up and test this on. Which probably won't be too hard, I just need to go around the corner. Yep! Look at all those colorful shirts right down the <laughs> street. Uh, wait, any more room? Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> Only two people though, unfortunately, but that's still really good. I think that was everything that I wanted to cover with the Dyson Q minigame. So, with that being said, let's get back to the side content. Okay, so since the Manusan is like the only side case on the map right now, let's go ahead and start with her stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh, for both the people chasing me and for Mane being hurt. Oh god. Ah, uh, what's what's up? <laughs> what's wrong, Amane san? You okay? I am not the one who requires your aid. You must go after this great cal uh, calamity. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, you sure you're okay? Nah. Can you try to walk me through what uh what happened? I witnessed a great calamity on a passerby, but when I warned him, he lashed out at me. He told me I was annoyingly persistent. Mm -hmm. Persistent? Why would he say that? Because I first saw his future about a month ago as well. A calamity of fire. And when I saw him er again earlier, I couldn't help but notice how alarmingly large the aura of his Calamity had become. Eh? A Calamity's aura can change size. I've never seen anything like it, to be frank. So I warned him again. And that's when he attacked you, huh? From his perspective, you probably seemed like a scammer or something. Regardless, a Calamity of that magnitude, I cannot even imagine the havoc it may reap. <laughs> And as a calamity of fire, it could have horrifying consequences. In other words, she needs me to look into this guy. Should I accept? Yes. Wait. No. <laughs> wow, they almost tricked me with that. 
Let me guess. You want me to tell him and prevent the calamity. Hi. Yes. I require your services now more than ever. Will your usual 1500... Ooh. 15,000 yen suffice? Uh. Yeah. That's fine. Anything you can tell me to help identify the guy? He was a plump man with short black hair who was wearing an embroidered stadium jacket and a large backpack. I know that his name is Hiyama-san. After he hit me, he headed towards Showa Street. Alright, I'll go look for him. The Fire Calamity. Now I imagine this should be the last one for Amane in terms of her side case before she becomes an unlockable girlfriend for us to potentially date. But, what did she say that he was again? Or did she not say Showa Street, right? Uh, there's a Kaihin Gang member right there now. What do I do? Okay, let's just run past him. And if push comes to shove, I'll just insta-kill him to make it to the checkpoint. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just, uh... Kaito! Ah, uh, that's a sheep. <laughs> Nah, I don't have things to kill. Okay. Um, lock this in the fight to you. Alright, time to stall out until I can get it. Alright, Oh, he took no damage from that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so either this just does so much more damage, or the other one. That I was using is just really weak. Uh, but okay, that should get into you. Kim san's good graces for the meanwhile. Okay, alright. Gotta find this guy. Mm. It should be him, right? I imagine uh, this is probably gonna be an autocomplete section. So yeah, no cats. Alright. Let's Hold go ahead on. and tell him. Oh. That's him. A calamity of fire this time, huh? Mm. I don't really know what to expect here. Fire calamity. Well, just from the sounds of it, it can't be anything too good. But okay. Hopefully I can get these episodes out in time uh, for my usual upload so uh, schedule so far. Because my usual recording days, which is like pretty much Friday through over the weekends, has been take has been taken over by a little event called the what is it? Hollow Live Dirt Fest Link Your Wish concert. <laughs> so couldn't really do any kind of recording there because I like to record at night. Because for some reason I feel like I have the most energy during the night. But yeah. If everything works out, then we should be fine. Wait, is he going in here? Really? Oh no, wait. Um... You know what? I'm just gonna go around. It's like, yeah, 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 I know. I know. Oh, wait, what? Alright, there he is. <laughs> and he was looking straight down the way that he came from to you, so this is probably the better choice. Uh, now to just move out his way first. But yeah, since I mentioned it, I might as well recap my uh, experience with the Hololive concert, because this was the first one that I've ever attended. Just in general. So, first Hololive concert and just first concert. And that was... That put a smile on my face to up the entire thing. <laughs> oh man. Uh, especially seeing all of the members, not just, you know... Stuff, people like Gura, Ina, or people like that, or Kali. But even Hololive ID... Because, God, they have some really killer performances. Muna, Risu, and Yofi.
is this guy ever gonna move? Or am I just gonna be stuck here talking about Hollow Knight forever? Which I don't mind, but we need to progress. Come on. Ah, uh, okay. I'm probably gonna have to like come down to the alley or that little opening between the buildings. Uh, there he goes. But okay, who else uh, were some performances that I really liked? Kiara's uh, performance on the second day was amazing. Especially with the choreography that she had done alongside Tina Tori. Um, of course... The Toa and Sui Seite uh, duet on the first day to close out the concert then. It's like, oh my god. Uh, let's see. Aki Rosenthal, her... Her song where she was singing that made up language, I forgot the name of it, but... It started out as an acapella and when I heard that it was like, wow. Because as a performer, Singing a cappella, like, as a performer, singing a cappella at a concert really shows how much confidence that you have in your singing ability. As in just that, in your singing ability and in your voice. Because I feel like it's, it's already nerve wracking enough to try to stay in time with the backing. Because uh, I feel like it's already nerve wracking enough to stay in time with the other musicians that were playing as well but to go and just sing with just your voice and let that carry on by itself i can't imagine it <laughs> probably the closest thing that i can probably relate it back to is the soloist and orchestras because i did play in an orchestra back when I was younger. Uh, so I do have a little bit of performing experience because of that. Um, uh oh. No, no, okay. Whew. That was close. Hmm? Hmm? What happened? Is he looking for something? Okay, no, no real need to cut here. Hmm? Eh? Whoa! Seriously? Okay, he is the Calamity. I, I have to put this pyre out! This what? What did I say? Uh. Phew. That was close. Was that the Calamity of Fire? Oh, I forgot. Where did you go? I have to catch up. Oh, he went that way. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but okay, to put a cap on the discussion about the uh, Third Fest uh, concert, I will just say that I loved everybody's performance. Some more than others. But just overall, the experience was amazing. And I'm happy that this could be the very first concert that I could experience. Just ever. Alright. He's going to Kim Shop. Hmm? hmm? Yaki Nikki place? Please don't get roasted. Alright, just leave the place. Nope, that was some weird stutter. I'm not sure if that was just OBS or if that was the game. Well, here we go. What's he doing in Little Asia?
Little Asia is under construction. What business will he have going there? Hopefully not sending any more fires. <laughs> this area burns so well. Hmm? Is that gasoline I smell? Hey, what are you doing? Huh? What do you want? I'm trying to start something here, so stay out of my way, would you? Uh... Arson, eh? You're not the victim of the fire calamity, you're the catalyst. <sighs> Did that fortune teller send you here? She freaked me out. I thought she was onto me. Yeah, and it's thanks to her that I can prevent you from doing this. <sighs> you aren't preventing shit! I'll be the next one to turn Kamaracho to a sea of flames. <laughs> and Little Asia will be the beacon that signals the coming storm. Uh... Dude, you're nuts. So how about you shut up and let me kick your ass? Who knows? Maybe it'll knock some sense into you. Oh? Fine. That your body can be the kindling. I've always wanted to watch someone go up in flames. No. You are psychotic. And for that, you deserve the pen uh you know what? Never mind. I messed it up, so we're just gonna go the right way. Come on. That was kinda dumb. I wasn't I was missing all of my punches while he was on the ground. She just ran the money yet again. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I shouldn't be doubting her. Thank you for calling us. That guy's a wanted arsonist. We can't let Little Asia go up in flames ever again. Again. Has this happened in any Yakuza games that I've played yet? I can't remember. Ah! Uh, no. Not yet. So, huh. Okay. It would be a huge disaster. Yeah. I'm just glad I didn't come to that. That said, I'm surprised you found him here. This area is pretty shut off. Well, he seemed pretty suspicious, so I followed him here. Here we go. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, thank you. You managed to prevent a disaster in the city. I guess. Didn't expect the guy to be the perpetrator, though. He was babbling about turning Kamarocho into a sea of flames. If my power was able to save lives today, then there is little more I can ask for. Except... Yagami-san? How would you feel about forming a partnership? Hmm? What? A partnership? I predict the calamities, and you minimize the damage. I think we've proven that we're an effective team. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting, but I think the current arrangement is working out just fine. Besides, you know how stressed I'd be hanging out with a prophet all the time? <sighs> Very well. I can't say I'm not disappointed, but I do understand. Here, your payment. Perhaps something longer term may be in your future yet. Thanks again. I don't know. This kind of counts as a partnership already. Oh right, I forgot I had two, many, two million yen. <laughs> yeah, because when did I record the um... God, it's slipping my mind. The play and dice uh, minigame stuff. I think it was either last Thursday or last Friday. So I have one of the days for this uh, last episode, you know. And which I don't know if I did an intro for the side episode yet. But if not, then I'll go back and post and do it. One way or another, I will introduce this episode to you guys and not make it awkward. Alright, where do I need to go? You know, for a second there, I got amazed that I could open the map while I was in combat because of all the Elden Rings I've been playing recently. <laughs> uh, and thinking about it now, I feel like maybe I should have streamed playing Elden Ring because, man, I've been really enjoying that game. And it's so long that it's not feasible to make a traditional Let's Play out of it, but also don't want to spend so much time editing. Editing too, and will you leave me alone? There we go. But alright. Hey, it's the Gucci and uh, Seita. Oh, was that your name? Yeah. The Seiya was his name. Oh god. I'm telling you, the ladies are all over me. They just can't get enough D. For the Gucci, that is. Uh, more like D for delusional. Now beat it, you're bothering the other guests. Not to mention wasting my time. Wait, 
Is that Seiya talking to the Gucci san? He was supposed to be working on the tuna boat. No, oh, Yagami san. Uh oh, Yagami san. Hey, the Gucci san. Aren't you supposed to be somewhere right now? You know, like the middle of the ocean? Well, that was my intention. But I realized something. That no matter how hard I try, I still want to be the number one host in Kamurocho. <laughs> Plus, foes may be queasy in the first place, so I busted a mission back here as quickly as I could. Hideaki Daguchi. And does Taniyama-san know about your decision? Yeah. Nope. Haven't said a word to Aunt Fumi. Fumi, eh? She'd probably have an ulcer if she found out. Uh... So you ran away without telling anyone because she didn't want to do the work. Speaking of which, I made the mistake of hiring this dumbbell after listening to all of his bragging and boasting. Uh, Only to watch him walk out on the very first day because cleaning toilets wasn't part of the job description. My yeah, it wasn't. And besides, I had no idea I'd get fired over it. The Gucci san you really should have thought about your aunt before doing all of this. Ugh. Uh, how much have you paid her back since we last talked? I'm guessing not a single yen. Well... If this hosting pans out the way it should, I'll be able to get her back everything in no time. But how can you expect to be a host if you can't last a day on the job? That only happened because my talent was left unrecognized. Seriously, they don't know what they're missing here. Okay, I've heard enough. You think you deserve another chance to work here? And you're gonna need to prove it. Ooh, does this mean I get my job back? That would only reinforce your habit of blustering through life, so no. Instead, I want to see how good you are at getting a girl's attention. <laughs> what? You mean like, throwing out random pickup lines? No, I'm talking about being comfortable around women and finessing the conversation. That's how we make a living. Make our living. Oh, well, I've talked to plenty of women before. Let's see. My aunt's a woman, so's my cousin. Alright, I've come up with the perfect skills, ass uh, skills assessment for you. You and Yagami-san will face off in a contest of flirting. If you win, I'll see if you can get rehired. Eh? Wait, why do I have to be involved? <laughs> First off, I'm too busy to watch it myself. And second, isn't he part of some case you're working on? That means he's your responsibility. Besides, he'll probably learn his lesson if he loses to an amateur like you. Uh... I understand your logic, but I'm not his guardian. Yagami -san. Well, Yagami-san, will you help me out? Otherwise, my future would be drowning in tuna, and not the kind that hosts want. Oh my god. It's like, wait, what? And, and then I got it. Ah. Uh, yes, but only because I feel bad for Seiya. I knew you were on my side. Ah, oh, you have no idea how happy I am right now. Oh wow, just like that? Nah. So, what do you need to do for this flirting contest of yours? What do we need to do, I mean? Okay. Basically, you need to flirt with a girl based on her criteria of choice. And after you make your... And after you make first contact... Well, based on my criteria of choice. Oh god. Take a picture with her before reporting back to me. Oh, and make sure you explain this contest to her too. Mm -hmm. That sure is asking a lot from a complete stranger. Mm. Ha! Huh. Any host who wants to work at Stardust should be able to do this half asleep. <sighs> but I don't even plan on being a host. Yet! Oh boy. <laughs> I'll do it, Seiya son. Just tell me who to ask. Okay, how about. You find a girl wearing white, and Yagami san, you find a girl wearing red. The first one back with a picture wins the contest. Uh... This is starting to sound ridiculous, but I guess I'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah, you two probably have no idea where to start, so let me give you some pointers. Ooh, yes, please. So. Girls who are on their way somewhere are generally code prospects. Instead, find a girl who's just standing around. Uh. Okay. Also, you'll need to rely on your observational skills. Oh, you mean I should constantly be checking them out? Mm. Sort of. Since this is a competition here, talking to every girl you see might not be the best, best tactic. Instead, try figuring out what kind of girl would actually stop and listen to you. That will make or break your game. So good the Gucci, you're out of luck. <laughs> I see. So I really need to be observant here. Uh, was that person just walking into the sign back there before I switch? 
anyways. Well, ready to get started? Ready, set, go. Okay, sounds simple enough. Oh. Hmm? Who's this? Kim, you are not a girl wearing wed. Leave me alone, this is not the time. Okay. Uh, the timing on that, it happened right as we got out. Okay. That's more orange than red, so... Um... Uh, but it doesn't look like there's any NPCs around here, so let me stick around. Uh, you know, let me try you. Mm. Should I just go with this girl? Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, can I help you? Mm. Alright, I got this far. Now what should I say? Uh, going somewhere? Actually, I was just wondering if you were lost. Mm. Oh, as a matter of fact, I am. Gotcha. I didn't mean to startle you in any way. But I noticed that you seemed a little worried, so I thought maybe I could help. Huh, that's nice of you. So, where exactly are you trying to find? Mm. Oh, um... I'm looking for a place called Bartender. Hey, that's my go-to spot. Uh... Here we go. Want me to give you directions there? Thanks, but I'm actually terrible with directions. I'm sure I'll make it somehow. Mm. Back for her there, we would give me an excuse to ask for a picture. There we go. Actually, Tender's not even that far away. So I wouldn't even mind give, uh, guiding you there. Huh? Really? Are you sure? Totally. I know the Yoda pretty well, so it'd be I'd be a terrible friend if I didn't help one of his customers find her way. Mm. You're not some kind of stalker, are you? Yagamis. Here? Here, why don't I introduce myself? My name's Takeyuki Yagami, and I only stalk the bad guys. I'm a detective, you see. Oh, you are? Thank goodness. Then lead the way, detective. And I'll get you there safe and sound. Alright, this seems like uh, the right one, actually. <laughs> Alright, here's Tender. Thank you so much! You really were a nice guy after all. Hello. Now, I hate to ask this, but I was actually wondering if you could do me a small favor. Oh? Like what? Would you mind taking a quick photo with you? Huh? A photo? Together? Yeah. See, I got suckered into a contest to find someone who could take a cute picture with me. Pretty stupid, right? Wow, you're actually going to be with it? <laughs> that is pretty stupid. But hey, at least you're honest. And that's my policy. If that's the case, sure, I'll take a picture with you. Just don't upload it anywhere, okay? Thank you so much. Alright. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no. Does that does not allow me? There you go. Yes. Wow, this turned out pretty good. Now, I'd love to talk more, but unfortunately I gotta get back first, so see ya. Enjoy the drink! <laughs> Alright, don't just take me back there, perfect. Oh no, I gotta run back myself. Alright. And it looks like I'm back first. Unless the Gucci can just teleport, apparently. Hmm. Hey, this is actually a nice picture. Didn't think you'd pull it off. Uh, oh, why? Why, can, why wouldn't anyone want a picture from the future Emperor of the Night? So you came back empty-handed. Of course I did. This whole thing's impossible. No matter how much I talked or what I said, they didn't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. but yeah? Well, I got a picture just fine. <laughs> you did? Yeah? He totally destroyed you, man. Damn, I had no idea you were such a player, Yagami-san. <sighs> yeah, and he's not even a host. If your game's not even on his level, you might as well pack your shit. No, I can't just give up here. Not what I've come so far. Please, just one more chance. You wanna be a host that bad, huh? Yagami-san. Well, Yagami-san, you'll be the one facing him. Rematch? Yes? For old time's sake. Uh. And if I beat you again, you'll give up this nonsense for good? Absolutely. A man is only as good as his word. Alright, I'll, I'll play along then. Thank you so much. 
Come talk to us when you're ready to get started. So, shall we? Fine, let's do this. Remember, if you lose to me, you're going on a one-way trip to Tuna Land. Yeah, I know. Okay then. Say ya? The criteria? Nice rhymes. Well, how about... Yagami-san, your job is to find a girl who's still attending school. University, junior college, doesn't really matter. Eh? There's a junior college? Or is that just high school? Won't it be kind of hard to find a student around here though? <laughs> True. Then consider it a handicap since you won last time. Uh... Psh, more like a handicrap. You guys ready? First one back wins. Now, get out there. Ah, back with the music. Alright, where would a schoolgirl hang out around here? Uh, let's try the cafe. The cafe? The cafe that's right here. That would be a good bet. If not, what else? Some kind of sweet shop? Let's see. Is there anything like that even around here? There's the M-Side Cafe. That's where a whole bunch of sweets are. There's also the uh, place inside the hotel too, though I don't think there'll be anyone in there. No, no, it won't let me inside there. Okay. Yeah. You look promising, I guess? Oh! Oh no! Ren-chan, where did you run off to? Oh, no. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? What? Well, what do you want? Uh... Yeah. You seem a bit panicked. Is there something wrong? Well, yes! You see, I was with my little brother, and now he's nowhere to be found! A lost child? He's about 8 years old. Oh, okay. Time to look for him. Ah, uh, where would he be? Oh, of course. Duh, the arcade. Duh. Whoa, a kid. What's the matter, little guy? I can find my big sister. That's not good. Do you know where the police station is? Well, mom always told me you're not supposed to move when you're lost. Right. That's smart. Mm. Yep. So I'm doing a good job. He seems pretty mature for his age. Oh, okay. Lady, I found your brother. Oh no. Friend Chan. Oh no. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, here we go. Alright, lost child. You know, I think I've seen that kid. What? Really? Where? Should I just take you to him? Yes, please! Alright, I hope you got some, uh, stamina on ya. Alright, and here we go. The family's reunited. Nunchan! Oh! Sis! You came! I'm so glad I found you! You disappeared all of a sudden! I was so worried! Sorry! Thank you, sir! You really helped a lot! No problem! Is there any way I can thank you? Well, would you mind taking a picture with me? Eh? A picture? Sure, but why? Uh, the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. The Gucci-san? Just what is he getting into this time? Sorry, I didn't know you guys were together. Huh? Yeah, right. You were trying to use my girl as a wallet. I know how you host sickos think. No, that wasn't my intention at all. <laughs> Bullshit. You're ready to enter a world of hurt, motherfucker. Hmm, if I help him now, I will certainly lose the contest. But if I don't, then Gujushi will lose several teeth. No, let's step in. Hey, you there. Yagami-san! You want something, man? Uh. Yeah, that guy's my friend. Sorry if he caused you any trouble. Uh. You think I give a shit if you're sorry? Then what do you suggest? Let me get a few hits on this bastard, and I won't take no for an answer. Uh. Then try hitting me instead. Bet you won't land a single one. <laughs> Fine by me. I hope you've written out your last will and testament. I know what I must do. Uh, ooh. Not quite what I wanted to do. 
I wanted to swing around the motorcycle that was right here. Or it was right here. And now it's back. You okay? Yeah, somehow. I ended up talking to the wrong girl. But, Yagami-san, that girl you were talking to earlier got scared and took off. Oh, crap. Uh, it's all my fault. I got us both disqualified. I put you in danger. Hey, it's fine. You are my client's nephew after all. I couldn't just let you get hurt. Yagami-san, you're one badass dude. Yeah, I know. Let's just get back to Seiya. So none of you got a picture, huh? And I guess that makes this a draw. Actually, Seiya-san, our contest does have a winner. <laughs> what do you mean? It's Yagami-san. He saved me from getting beat up. If he hadn't stopped what he was doing and helped me, I'm sure he would have won. Yagami-san, is this true? Mm. Well, yeah, I was pretty close. Then you admit you're lost, Taguchi. Think carefully. Your dream of being a host is on the line here. Uh, it's... it's cool. I don't want to cause you any more trouble than I already have. I owe you, man. You sure about this? Yeah, I'll go work on the Tina boat like I promised. I'm a failure as a host anyway. Wait! No one here thinks you're a failure, Deguchi. Huh? huh? At first, I thought you were just another wannabe who talked big and couldn't back it up. But now I know you really can. <laughs> you... You mean that? Yeah, and I've been watching you work your magic out there too. You ended up talking to way more girls than I expected. Well, I know I'm not the best looking guy, so I figured I'd just talk my ass off until the magic actually happens. And you kept at it too. Despite how many times you got rejected. <sighs> Of course. Even though many of them said horribly crippling things that will scar you for years to come. Oh god. <laughs> None of that really matters as long as my dream is alive. Besides, I'm sure there's at least one girl out there who would appreciate my style. Not sure where your confidence comes from, but I like that you stick to your guns. You're super enthusiastic too. Yeah, I can see it working. I think that, with a little bit of polish, you could end up being a pretty decent host. Then... Does that mean- so done, eh? Yeah, I wouldn't mind talking to the owner for you. What do you think, Yagami-san? Get on the two to both! <laughs> I guess as long as you pay your debt to Taniyama-san, it's fine. <laughs> awesome! Hey. <laughs> Remember, your level of success in this industry is all on you. And there are times being a host is much more difficult than being on the tuna boat. And I'll just have to give it 110%. No, 120%. Alright, I'll be holding you to that. Well, Yagimi-san, I guess this is it. I don't know what I would have done without you. Make sure you explain your situation to your aunt and get her approval, okay? You better, well. I'll just work like the Gucci magic and... Shabuya! She'll see it my way for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but do you really think it's that simple? Well, if I can persuade a strict old lady like my aunt, then talking to girls in the street should be a cinch, in theory. Maybe so, but I hope it all works out for you. Dun, da, dun, dun, da, dun, da, dun, dun. Okay, where to next? Yeah, I think it's time to go uh, do some gambling. Take care of that woman that's inside of the casino from last episode. Last main story episode too. No, right. Wait, what? All things considered, I feel like this episode is going to end up being a shorter one compared to the previous side case episodes, just because there's not as much to do now, and I probably need to do some mini games as, at that too to unlock some more friends, like uh, the baseball one. But okay, now uh, there she is. Hello, woman. That's just her last name, don't worry. <laughs> well, look who it is. Ooh. Hey, good to see you. Hitting the poker tables again, are we? Yep, I'm all out of martinis too, so I wouldn't mind playing with you for a bit. Ready to get started? Ooh. Sure, I'll take you on. 
Hope you don't mind losing. Wait, you don't have enough chips. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay, there we go. I wonder if it's okay for me to just lose. And that'll be that. Man, none of us got anything, did we? Yeah, let's just uh, bluff everybody out. <laughs> Boom. Ah, oh, I can't believe I'm lost. <laughs> Don't worry, we all have those days. <laughs> You're sweet. By the way, I did have fun. Alright, one more. Hope to see you again. Nah. Ah, you again. Feel like some poker today? Ooh. Yeah, I'll take you on. You don't have any sleeves now. I have one pair, but will be enough. Two pair. Oh, it's a tie. No, not again. I gotta say, you're one tough guy. I like that. She's not actually hitting on me, is she? Okay, calm down. You're cool. You're the man. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I guess Lady Luck likes her guys tough. Rugged even. With the faintest hint of with the faintest hint of danger about them. <laughs> with an attitude like that, I feel like the two of us were meant to be poker buddies. Eh? Huh? Poker buddies? Totally. Can't believe me again whenever you had the chance, yeah? Oh, well, you can have this if you want. No. No oh, shoot. I'm gonna be late. I promised to meet up with my boyfriend. Well, see you later. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> uh. Looks like I didn't get lucky after all. You got handed the fool! But you know what? That's okay, Yagami. Because you still have luck for you. And four potentially other girlfriends on the horizon. Ah, oh, come on! No! <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. What's going on? <laughs> no, what? Were you out here? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is anybody here? Dagger drop. <laughs> uh, that was nice. That was uh, that was an interesting fight to say the least. But okay, what do we have left? Let's go to bartender. That's not a bartender. That's a phantom. You know, I wonder if I should uh, actually let's play Yakuza Five and stuff like that because that's where I left off in the series before I started YouTube. And even then I was part way through, but it's been so long that I feel like I probably forgot what's going on with like Kiryu and all of them, so yeah. No, oh, it's you, sir. Thank you for stopping by. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on? You look pretty wiped out. Oh, my apologies. It's just that lately we've had our fair share of tiresome customers, you could say. Bantam owner. <laughs> Hire some customers. Oh, I apologize. I'm sure you don't want to hear me griping. Actually, I wouldn't mind hearing you out over a few drinks, even. Very well then. I was about to say that I've been dealing with people who don't have the slightest idea how to order. Tell me, what do you think is the most troublesome kind of customer for a bartender? Huh, now there's a question. Um, oh yeah, I remember all this. I'm fairly sure. Customers who leave it up to you. Customers who leave the order up to you? Precisely! A lot of customers think they've been, they're being savvy by ordering whatever I recommend, but in truth it throws me off. Although I'm confident in each and every item on our menu, I have no idea how to tell what the customer really wants. <laughs> Seems as I'm not a mind reader, I simply don't know what to make for them. I can see how that might end up giving you a headache. For instance, what if the customer refused to drink it? That, or it might not suit your taste. That's why I'd appreciate a little more information on orders like those. I see. I guess it's better to put a little more effort than getting to know the bartender, huh? 
Indeed. It's difficult for regular customers since I... It's different for regular customers since I already know their preferences. Ooh. Then I better stop by more often so that you know what to get for me. <laughs> oh, please do. Would you like me to get something started? Ah, this one's gonna be pretty quick. No, I do not. Thank you. Ooh, what's this? Jeez, why couldn't you just make the damn drink? I know, right? I heard this was one of the oldest, oldest existing bars in Kamurocho too. Guess we expected too much, babe. Ugh, what they did was set the bar too low. I'm gonna do something else. You wanna go bowling then? Hmm, fine, whatever. Let's just go. Looks like something went down at bottom. I wonder what happened. That's that's good, to say the least. Welcome, sir. Ah. Hey there. Everything okay, Chef? Uh, Chief? Yeah. <sighs> Just another tiresome customer. Did they leave their order up to you again? No. This time they ordered a cocktail. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem? Well, it can be. Care to take a guess as to why? Mm. A troublesome cocktail, huh? What could that be? Uh... Here we go. That one. They tried to order an original cocktail from a different bar. Hi. Precisely. The problem is, if another bar invented it, it's not exactly in my wheelhouse, you know? Seriously. How would you even know how to make it? When I first got the order, I looked it up in the back room because I'd never heard of it before. I couldn't find it at all, so then I asked the customer. And wouldn't you know it, he told me it was from another bar. I at least wanted to try to make it. So I asked them for the recipe, but they had no idea whatsoever. Uh. Yeesh, what a waste. Unfortunately, at that point, there was nothing I could do. I understand. It should be common sense to not do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you think so. There we go. By the way, oh, by the way, does Montam have their own original drink? We actually do not, but would you like me to prepare one on your behalf? Eh? You do that? Yes. I'm making it especially for you, since I see you around so often. <laughs> like two times. <laughs> All you need to do is to say the word. The ultimate dew drop. Let's get it. So, oh, that's right. I never get drunk, so let me see. Let me go ahead and buy... The seed action and go find some people to fight for once. Now that is your cue, Kim. Okay, now, not quite. Here we go. Oh, I need to be drunker than this, don't I? Man, I don't have any other alcohol. All things considered, actually, I should stop by a popo and uh, get some alcohol because there are skills that make your heat build up faster while you're drunk. Not to mention that the heat action that you get from it is really good for ground control. So, yeah. I've been ignoring it this whole time, but that's bad. I should not be. Oh, I uh, got a challenge from being greeted by all my friends. <laughs> At least a certain number of times from how that's uh, worded. Now, there are two friendship events in here, so let's see if I can't get... Wait, there are two friendship events in here. <laughs> so let me see if I can't get... The simpler one first. Uh, you. Hmm? Huh? Aren't you. Karagiri san? Mm -hmm. Oh no! Whoops! You're not the simpler one! Ah, oh, if it isn't Yagami san, what a pleasant surprise. Takumi Katagiri. Ano. Care for a drink. It's on me. Hi. Yeah? Then don't mind if I do. You know, I've been giving him like a middle aged voice, but actually, he's probably, or better, old man voice, but yeah, he's probably closer to you, like his 40s or mid, mid 40s at that, too. So, not that old. By the way, Kawada san from Cloudy Skies Publishing tells me you're a detective. Hi. He's not wrong. Mind sharing some of your experiences with me then? 
I bet you'd be the perfect reference for my new detective novel. You're the one buying drinks? I don't see why not. Splendid. Why don't we start with a case that's left a deep impression on you? Something... unforgettable. Mm. <laughs> Anything involving Tsukino-san. <laughs> hmm, let's see. What case would be good inspiration for a detective novel? Ooh, wow. That's already a lot. Uh... That means that I'm almost completely done with his friendship event. But, ah, I have to pick one of these. Uh, what do we tell him about first? I want to say that... The Bomber is probably the most mundane one out of all of these. Yeah. There was this time I had to stop a serial bomber? Okay, now. There was this time I had to stop a serial bomber. The situation nearly blew up in my face. <laughs> you mean you were the ones- you and you were the one who solved that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now once he got fired, he decided to plant bombs all over the town as his way of sticking it to his former employer. That's terrible. No wonder they have withheld the details from the public. Sometimes truth really is stranger than fiction. Yeah, this will be a long one. If you have another interesting case to share, please tell me all about it. I'm here whenever I get writer's block. Hi. Sure thing. Then I'll see you next time. Yeah, I want to try to hold off until um I get that last case. Whichever saw. one that'll be. Um, oh yeah. Nagibi san, so we meet again. Mm -hmm. You're that journalist from before. Yoma. The name is Hiranuma, and I'm actually just a freelancer now, but that's neither here nor there. Nobudu Hiranuma. Ano. Sorry to throw this at you, but I hear you're not only a, de a detective, but also a jack of all trades. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Not sure where you heard that, but I'll take a case as long as it's up my alley. Most of the time. I see. And I have a job for you. I need you to take some pictures of a certain someone. I'll be compensating you, of course. How does 50,000 yen sound? No. Yeah. That'd be nice. Who's this certain someone you need pictures of? You know Kotatsu Higarashi, right? The guy who flamed Honi Hanata. He's apparently been on hiatus ever since the whole fiasco. So I need you to get me his picture. Mm -hmm. What could you possibly do with that, though? Well... Apparently he's going through some hard times. Heard his agency's been keeping him from appearing on TV and such. And since he can't land gigs on his own, he resorted to pestering customers on Senryo Avenue as a barker. <laughs> Frankly, I thought that sounded pretty funny, so I wanted to see it for myself. He's really falling down the hole, hasn't he? Yep. Maybe he thought it'd be easier to fall people in, given his 15 minutes of fame. If you could call it that. But anyway, would you mind helping me out? Try to get as close as you can. Sure. Alright. I believe Hiru Numa's uh, friendship event is a three-parter, so it'll be this. I think another picture of uh, Kenta. No, that wasn't his name. And then I saw some uh, fluff text dialogue that reminded me of it. And then a picture of a white pigeon. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Ooh. Ah, here he is. No. Uh, who? This is a while ago, so you know what? It doesn't matter. Hey, buddy! Yeah, you! Over there! Wanna see some voluptuous vixens today? Looks like you can use the attention! Mm -hmm. Ah, isn't that Higurashi? <laughs> Hi, Higurashi! Do that thing you always do! You know, with your eyeballs! <laughs> You wanna do something with balls, huh? Oi, oi. And how about I whip out my dangly lettery sack and then we'll see who's laughing. Ugh, let's get out of here. This new material is terrible. Yeah, you've really gone off the deep end. And to think I feel sorry for you. <laughs> what? Fine then, get out of here. Bunch of cheap skinks. Uh, cheap shits. No, oh, that was all over the place. One day, I'll be consistent with voices. <laughs> wow. He really has no shame, does he? And now he'll be making a comeback anytime soon. Well, time to get that photo. I need to get as close as I can. Okay. Police camera. It's not like he'll... Oh. 
<laughs> oh, I have to wait until, uh, until the right moment. I can't just walk up to your face and take a picture. Not yet, anyway. Oh yes, but I just got reminded when, when I was talking about Yakuza 5 and just finishing that. And it's also the same case with uh, Final Fantasy 7 too. Uh, because I'm like halfway, over halfway through that game. And we're trying to figure out if I should just finish it my own time or just finish it off on the channel. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, for that matter. Hmm. It's kind of far, but this should work. Ah, now then. Now that's the song I picture. This is back to Shalak for me. Yeah, so Final Fantasy 7 Remake and then the rest of the Yakuza series are some of the stuff that I'm thinking about. Uh, continuing and finishing on the channel since I was partway through those. Uh, was there anything else? I kind of have to look at my library in order to figure it out, but... Oh yeah, Tales of Berseria as well, in which Tales of Arise has come out, so I'm really behind with that series. Oh god, I have a lot of RPGs to go through. Because I'm trying to get through to Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so I can play Xenoblade Chronicles 3 when it releases yeah. this September. But, alright. Hiranima-san. I believe he wanted this. And Yagami-san delivers the goods. That was fast. Yeah, I can definitely use this. I can almost see the headlines now. Or already. Here's a little something for your trouble. <laughs> well, looks like I'm back to the office with this guy. Thanks. Sure thing. Let me know if you ever need any more help. Right, you're back. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, my main man. Yeah. Hey, Hiranuma-san. You come by Shalak pretty often, I see. Eh, I do it when I feel like getting hammered. Which is gonna need to happen after this next job. You end up for you up for playing photographer again? Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Sure, but what kind of job are we talking about? I need you to take some pictures again. This time. Is a performing artist who was on the news recently because of some kind of scandal. Who? Yep, I had a feeling. His name is Ron Sama. Have you heard of him? He's one of those goth rockers with a vampire persona. Uh... Yeah, I'll just, just say I'm... familiar. Oh. Good. This'll go a lot quicker. He's apparently doing community service to make comments for something he did in the past. But since I wanted to write an article about it, I need you to get this picture. Yeah, that whole thing. Did you catch that press interview that aired with him? Mm hmm? Hmm? No, not really. Why? Do you know something about it? Huh? Oh. Nah. Nobody's ever gonna know that was me. What a relief. Although, I was half tempted to spell it just now. Maybe someday. <laughs> anyway, I hear Bromsama has been picking up trash around town as part of his service, uh, community service. Uh. Yeah. He got off light, but if you ask me, even though he whines, at least he's taking it seriously. I'm surprised he's actually going through with it. I've been rather curious about that myself. And that's why I wanted you to check up on him and see how he was handling it. With photo evidence, of course. Apparently he picked up trash near Park Boulevard pretty often. With 50 Gs, could you do it? Say no more. I'm on the case. By Park Boulevard? Gotcha. One thing that I had noticed too while putting together all these episodes up until now is that my personality comes out a lot more with the side up with these side episodes, which will probably not get much traction compared to the main story. Because I'm just pretty much going from point A to point B to point C and just commentating or commenting on stuff that happens here and there in the main story. Whereas here, I just talk about whatever I want, <laughs> pretty much. Oh boy, here we go. Not to mention the ad -libs. What wretched scoundrel would dare discard this object without so much as a passing thought? I'll help you pick it up, Ramsama! No. Prostrate thyself no further, human. For I, Ramsama, must bear this cross of atonement alone. <laughs> Yet, if you still wish to lend me your aid, then I give you a single command. Here it comes! He's gonna say his catchphrase! Offer unto me your pulsing blood! Ah! Blah 
love Zaba, we love you! Even when he's picking up trash, he finds a way to work that in. Impressive. Okay, time to get that picture. Ah, uh, I wish I could do uh, the verse version of the voice that I did uh, when I first did a side quest. Because there was like a kind of like accent that I kind of threw in there that was that I found really good when listening to it. Oh, I know. Uh, I know what angle I want to take this picture from. Or rather, do I? Dang it! <laughs> so I think that uh, overhead angle is the way to go about it. No! What? What happened? What? No! Get me out of here! <laughs> no! Come on! I got too close to the uh, railing and then bolted me over. There you go! That should be a nice composition. Mm. Ah, really? Okay. Huh. Alright, let's back to Shalak we go. Nah. Here a new son. I got it. Here, this Brahm Sama. Oh, thanks, Yagami san. <laughs> <laughs> this picture is actually kinda nice. Tasteful even. Don't ask me why it is. It just is. Makes for good writing. What? Here, for job well done. Thanks. And one more, right? I should be the one thanking you. You are definitely the man for the job. Hope we can work together again. Uh. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Thanks again. I'll contact you again if I ever need some help. That was a lot of agains. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Again, again, and again, and again. Yagami-san. Right. Hey, Yagami-san. You think you can get some photos from me again? Mm -hmm. Sure. What kind of photos are we talking about this time? A crow. Eh? A crow? What for? It's not just any ordinary crow. I'm looking for the rare and fabled right crow. A, a... a right crow? Not sure I'm buying that. At first, I couldn't believe it either. But then all these witnesses started showing up, so I figured it might be real. <laughs> I bet people would lose their minds if they happened to see it for themselves. Is it just some kind of rare genetic anomaly? Yeah. Rare doesn't even begin to describe it. I did some research, and it turns out the odds of a right crow of being born is 1 in 100,000 or lower. On top of that, white crows generally get neglected by their parents and die young, which only adds to their rarity. Damn, even the world of crows is rough. Yeah, and even if they get lucky and make it to adulthood, a harsh fate awaits these survivors. Might be because of their different plumage, the white crows get bullied by the others and excluded from the flock. That's harsh. It is. Even among crows, those who don't blend in are forced to live in hardship. Nah. Well, where was this bird last seen? Mm. I'm not sure. Each of the witnesses' testimonies have been pegged to a different location. But all the reports agree that the crow can only be found way up in the sky. Alone. So I need to go somewhere with a very high vantage point to find it. Sure, but don't you think that's going to make it difficult to get a clear shot? Yeah, so take a super zoom lens with you in order to get a clear shot. It'd be great if you could capture it in the center of the frame. If at all possible. Mm. Hmm. Sounds kind of difficult. I'll give it a shot though. Great, but I want to shot against an. I want to shot against the night sky. Mm -hmm. At night? But why? All the witnesses happen to see it at night. It seems that the white crow hides during the daytime. The crows aren't nocturnal though, are they? Nope. If anything, they usually sleep at night. But this one might have learned to hunt on his own so as to avoid interference from the other crows. So it's not a lone wolf, but a lone crow. Well, I guess that's all I need to know. But man, I've gotta say, this sounds like a wild goose chase. Not goose, crow. But I'll bump up your payment then. Let's make it 100,000 yen. 
and call it even? Best of luck to you now. I guess I'll climb as high as I can once it gets dark out. The top floor of Kamuro Theater has a pretty good, pretty high vantage point. There's also a rooftop of that one building on Tenkaichi Street. Gonna head behind Stardust to get up there. Okay. Well, can't finish this then. Not unless we do a little bit of the main story in order to progress. I suppose that's fine because we don't even have any super lenses. Oh yeah, right. In that case, let's go see this one that's in here, which is probably just Kim-san. Yep, it's Kim. Welcome to the beef zone. Get ready. Sure. <laughs> ready as always. How's business these days, Kim-san? Kim won soon. Well, to be honest, it's a little rough. A lot of customers have gone over to Conrai, our main competitor. Well, Conrai is pretty popular. Yeah. Can you think of anything that would help us stay competitive? Mm -hmm. Not sure if I can just make it rain ideas, but I'll try. Yeah. First off, what is Conrai really known for in the first place? Mm. Let's see. It's a high-end restaurant, but so it's probably more geared towards entertaining clients or fancy dates. And rather than making a big fancy menu, they stick to a small selection of only the choiciest meats on the market. Don't seem to do anything unreputable as a business either. Gotcha. Hello. Was that the information helpful at all? Mm. Yeah, let me think here. Um. Ooh. I'm just I'm just using this one just as personal preference. I would love this. Why not get free refills on rice? Since Jackie and Niku and rice go practically hand in hand, I think a lot of people would appreciate some rice on the house. Besides, wouldn't it also be better for sales if the customers filled up on rice? It's a lot cheaper than meat. The meat. <laughs> wow, you really know your stuff. You sure you sure you went to a restaurant manager before? Feels like I already said that. Will my amateur advice really make a difference in the long run? Guess I'll find out soon enough. Ooh, okay. So that's probably four more after this one? Can I just talk to you again? No? Okay, gotta leave and come back. Oh, I got a new message! Is it from who I think it is? Ah, uh, yep, there she is! What color is your calamity? <laughs> oh man. Okay, Kim. What else do you got? Yagami-san! Oh, Yagami-san! Welcome to the beef zone! Yo. Thanks! Has business been getting any bus uh, better? Well, we made the rice refills free like you suggested. Our expenses have gone way down! <laughs> Good. Glad to hear it. But that's not, still not enough. At this rate, Conrad is going to swallow us all. Yeah. Can you think of any other ideas? Oh. So just gotta suggest it all. Why not make us family special? Large parties like families tend to rack up a higher bill, which equates to more profits. It's true that Conrad is a bit more on the luxury side, but it's also losing out on a big demographic by leaving off families. This could be your chance to corner the market. <laughs> wow! You really know your stuff! You sure you want- Okay. Alright, yeah, that's not the same. So, time to just uh, rinse and repeat. Yagami-san! No, Yagami-san! Welcome to the beef zone! Whoa. Thanks! Uh, oh god, I think I'm starting to realize that his voice is starting to slip into. Okay, let's stop that from happening. <laughs> Has business been getting any better? Okay. Uh, well, we made a family a family special like you suggested. And now we have families coming in from all over the place. <laughs> Fantastic! That's good to know. But that's still not enough. At this rate, Conway's gonna swallow us all. Yeah. Can you think of any other ideas? Why not drop the prices a little? Conrad is pretty pricey as it is, so our price drop on your end should help your place stand out. You'll be the other option. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, time for the last <laughs> one. Oh, you know what? I should have been beating those. <laughs> Why not expand the dessert menu? That way, you attract more families with young kids as well as groups of girls. Help you with that menu, a nice touch. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind a good dessert at the end of my meal too, so... What does that make me? <laughs> well... Okay. So it doesn't mean that the very last thing is gonna be checking up on the results. Probably. Yagami -san. Oh, Yagami-san! Sure. Welcome to the beef zone! Thanks. Has business been getting any better? 
Well, we did flesh out our the dessert menu, and now we're rolling in sugar addicts, which is good for business. <laughs> is that right? That puts my mind at ease. But that's still not enough. <sighs> this race. Uh. Conrad is not going to swallow you whole, okay? All you have to do is showcase something original, which you do have, yes? If we did, I would have said so earlier! And ordering a brand new item out of the blue will only drive up costs! Okay, so scratch that idea. Maybe you can focus on the way you grill, or feature some kind of special sauce. Honestly, our grills are nothing out of the norm, and our sauce is just my grandma's old recipe. Huh? 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 Can you repeat that last bit? Mm. Honestly, our grillers are nothing out of the norm. And our sauce is just my grandma's old recipe. Oh. That's... that's it! Kim-san, is your sauce still made the same way as your grandma's? Yes, sir! We always use my grandma's sauce when eating yakiniku. The balance between the soy sauce and linen. What is that? Top with your gentle dollop of honey is what does it. <laughs> that's it! What you described to me just now. It's your original mouth-watering secret sauce. <laughs> oh, I see where you're going with this. Brilliant! Then I'll advertise it just like that. Ah, oh, there's still more. Come on. <laughs> Family-friendly yakiniku served with secret sauce. A traditional recipe from Kim San's and grandma. I think this is our best idea yet. God, all this talk about food is going to make me hungry. But by the time I finish recording, it's going to be like super late at night. No. <laughs> And you know what, it's fine. Cooking a burger at like 11 in the evening? Sure, that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> yeah, you might be asking yourself, why a burger? Because, well, that's the only original beef thing that I can cook here in my house. Because I have nothing else and I'm, yeah, I'm flat broke right now. Yagami-san! Yagami-san! We did it! My grandma's Jackie Niku sauce is becoming a huge hit! <laughs> We've been getting customers left and right ever since! Business is booming now! Okay. Of course. We pulled out all the stops to make it happen. <laughs> well, we couldn't have done it without your superb advice. You have my thanks, Yagami-san. <laughs> ah, I didn't do much. Thank you, Grandma, instead. Yes, I should. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this sauce is delicious. I could possibly be in it. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that the manager of Khan, right? I heard beef stone sauce was the talk of the town, so I knew I had to try it out myself. But this was beyond my expectations. I had to try even harder just to keep up with you, eh? <laughs> oh no, we're really nothing special. Nonsense. If we didn't improve our own sauce, all our customers are going to end up eating here instead. I'm not so sure about that, but it's quite flattering to hear from such an esteemed business as Conrai. Well then, I'll be taking my leave. Let's do our best from here on out. Hmm? Yes! And thank you for entering the beef stone! Nah. Nyakami-san, did you hear that just now? <laughs> yeah, he really talked you up there, didn't he? He sure did! I got the feeling he was really impressed, so I'm all fired up now! Thank you so much, Nyakami-san! Finally! There we go. It's something any fan would do. Keep that fire alive, Kim-san. Oh, by the way, that's thanks. I'd like to let you eat here at a special discount price. Yeah. I can never eat here before, so that's the start. You mean it? Of course! You can come here and fill up any time. I'll make it cheap. Sounds good to me. I appreciate that. My pleasure. Consider a bonus from the beef down. Will do. Oh god. Okay. That's the uh, camera angle to cut back to. <laughs> uh, but I don't think there's any more friendship events that I can do. Uh, yeah, because I still don't have the right friends for Yosuke to, fin to be finished. And yeah, that's why there's Yama, but that's gonna take ages. Like, Jesus. I think I'm all friendship events out for this episode. Huh. Um, I could continue the main story just so I could add in the finale to the friendship event here, but nah, I'm not gonna do that. God. I'm just going to admit here, I've tried to do an outro like five times by now and I cannot get the right words out. <laughs> but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And let me know what your favorite part of the video was. But otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye!